And hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0. I am Dennis, I am the Paleo Gamer, and today we're actually going to start Project Assembly. Now, I have done some work that I wasn't recording, mainly because I was just linking a bunch of constructors and assemblers and smelters and that sort of stuff together, and I really wasn't doing anything that I hadn't already done, so I didn't need y'all didn't need to see that. It would just been kind of boring. Um, I do have a good chunk of it on my Twitch channel. I will link that down below so we can see that. In the meantime, let's get back to it and let me show you around. So here we are in the new factory. Yes. Ah, have to get my coffee. Now, I've moved the hub up here. The hub has its own little platform now, and I'm actually going to be moving the hub again soon. But as you can see, most everything has been moved up to an elevated platform. I did that just to get a level flat surface for everything. Um, to give you an idea of what we've got, I am now fully exploiting three iron veins, two over here and one on the far side. There's an iron vein here that I have not started to use yet, mainly because I'm out of, um, I'm hitting the limit of what my power grid can provide. So um, the first miner and smelter is down below me. They're bringing the ingots up to here. These ingots run into this set of constructors, which are all making iron rods. So I'm getting about 1,200, uh, uh, excuse me, 120 iron rods a minute out of this setup. Meanwhile, over here, this is the second miner feeding in to um, where it's making um, iron plates. And I'm getting 80 of those a minute. Those are being stored here. The copper mine is back over this way. It is doing a bunch of different things. I've got one set that is constructing copper sheets. I've got one set constructing copper wire, and I've got one set constructing copper wire and then turning it into cable. Now, I had actually intended to put the cables as a tier two product up on a higher level, and then just forgot when I was building it. So that's why they have their own setup here. There's a similar setup down there. Those are all producing rods on this level, and the upper level is turning those rods into screws. So I literally have 480 screws a minute coming out. Now, in addition to storing these things, some of this stuff is running to other machines. Like right here, we have two machines that are each producing reinforced iron plates and we're sending some extra screws off this way where they're mixing with rods to create rotors. Here's our plates. And then we're doing, moving the rotors and the reinforced plates over here to create smart plating, which we're storing back here, which I'm gonna need one of soon. So we're gonna go ahead and pick that up. And finally, this was the last thing I set up. So it's the least advanced at the moment we're getting modular frames built over here. This is basically everything you can do at tier one. The problem is, if you notice, my production capacity is bouncing between 360 and 390. And if everything turned on at once, I'd be pulling 399 megawatts. So I'm actually short. Fortunately, some machines have shut down because they're assembly lines are full like you see this these rods aren't really moving right now but I really can't do much about it um, I'm also at about the limit of what my um, uh, biomass setup can handle and I'll show you what's going on down there in a minute the only thing that's not up at this top level is over here um, Here's the biomass setup. It's actually um, feeding unlucky number 13 um, biomass burners, but some of them are starting to starve because they're 
not getting stuff to them fast enough. That's because I set it up as a manifold and it really should not be a manifold. It really should be a load balancer because the ones in back are not getting what they need. Uh, I also have, and it's not on the, um, it's not on the upper tier. This is a coal or excuse me, concrete setup. And the concrete here is, I did attempt to load balance these and it just turned into spaghetti, which is why I just went for manifolds everywhere else. Anyway, what I want to do today is I've kind of cleared out my inventory here. Yes, I do have some stuff base, but for the most part, my inventory is kind of cleared out because I'm going to head up north here. This is pretty much due north from my factory setup because there's a cliff face up here. And I want to get up to this cliff face because that's where we're going to build our space elevator. Oh, hell no. And what's that over there? Oh, guys. Son of a... It's one down. Here's the other one down. Okay. Pick up some more hog remains. And what have we here? Oh, that's the new Mercer Sphere. Live, laugh, consume. The astrobiologist Dr. D.M. Mercer was the first to recognize the presence and probable nature of these alien artifacts. These chain-melted state spheres are named in his honor. Each sphere emits a unique signal. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application. Yeah, Ada, I'll get right on that. Okay. Well, you've also got a concrete node up here, something to keep in mind. Okay. Now, what I want to do is we are... Ah, uh, let's go a little further out. I don't want anything overlapping me on the edges. I'm going to walk kind of slow here because I don't want to run off the edge of the world. Okay. I knew this cliff was up here is kind of why I went in this direction. Um, my original factory... Oh, look, one of the little flying mantis things. Uh, my last time in Early Access, I built my um, base down that way. There's a bunch of iron nodes and concrete nodes, and uh, copper nodes and concrete down that way. There used to be some pure um, quartz nodes, but they removed those with 1.0. Although it looks like there's a looks like there's something there. Anyway, but right now I'm gonna build our space elevator and I'm going to build it here just because I want it out in a lot of space. So we're going to start, let's see here, player is in the way, okay, good. let's run out five, that's a total of five out. And now I'm just going to start spamming these. And I want this thing to be 15 units wide. Make sure I'm... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, make sure I'm starting here. I want these things to be 15 units wide, so I need to put a seven on each side. It's two... You get the idea. Now we've only got a depth of 10 at this point. So I'm going to have to add four, five more rows on the outside.
later I'll come back and put a wall around the edge of this so I won't walk off of it and stuff like that. have this properly spaced out. Oh well. This will be big enough for us to get started though. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is only six. One, two, three, four, five. No, there are there's six each side, that's correct. Seven each side. This is only thirteen by thirteen, not fifteen by fifteen. Okay. It would have still worked. I'm just gonna try to uh, do a little bit more here. And that's fifteen on that way. I'm repeating a pattern that I've used on earlier. Um, builds, which is um, to um, build this up, and then the final stage manufacturers I put up here as well. All right. Now I got the way up there. Okay. Now I just have to find the center of this thing and put a 7x7 seven seven grid there. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so this is the center grid. And I'm just going to paint this a different color. Do a 7x7 seven seven here. this is it's going to let me figure out some spacing here. And I think I messed up over there. Oh well. It's okay, we can clean it up. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, I'm off somewhere. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Well, eight. So we should be three in each direction. Did I miscount? Ah, those two are not supposed to be there. Okay. Yes, the joys of factory building. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plop down the space elevator. Yes, it is time. There we go. And get that more or less centered because we're going to nudge it around. Okay. So that's centered this way. Let me make sure I'm centered the other way. backwards one. Nope, that looks actually pretty good. All right. And since this is the best animation in the entire game, let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Project assembly initialized. Congratulations, Pioneer. The space elevator will now automatically connect with the project assembly orbital platform. Project assembly is divided into phases, each of which require the delivery of project parts, such as smart plating, via the space elevator. Subsequent phases unlock access to new tiers with more advanced technologies to construct, automate, explore and exploit. It is time to be honest, this project is part of the Save the Day program, the largest united undertaking in human history, destined to save us all. Earth is in peril and only Fixit pioneers offer hope for survival. Fixit is counting on you. Humanity is counting on you. Do not let Fixit down. Okay, don't let Fixit down. Let humanity down all you want, but let's not let Fixit down. Okay. Well, I grabbed the first thing, which was the smart plating before we left, and you see how much I cleared out of my inventory. So we're ready. Seal this puppy up. Apparently, it's a screw on lid. Useful. Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 1 project part shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 1 will be completed and the distribution platform will be constructed. After completion of Phase 1, the technologies of Tiers 3 and 4 will become available in the hub. Highlights are, automated power, steel production, personnel transportation, and many more. Completing Phase 2 of Project Assembly is your next main objective. New project parts will need to be produced and delivered to the space elevator as you have done previously. Continue to construct, automate, explore and exploit for a better fix-it future. All right. Thanks for the pep talk, Ada. Oh, it got dark. That's a lot more impressive than early access. Phase one of project assembly completed. This is only the beginning of project assembly, the first step towards saving the day. You have performed adequately so far. Reminder, not only is Fixit saving humanity, it is saving all of Earth, including kittens and puppies. It is statistically likely that you appreciate the continued existence of kittens and or puppies. Continue the work for their sake. Continue the work for Fixit. It is time to start the work on Phase 2 of Project Assembly. Man, that's a lot of stuff that got built just for sending up 50 smart plates. Which don't really look that big on a conveyor belt. But, anyway, here we are. So, we now have Phase 1 completed. I'm going to put a ramp here just so I don't fall off the edge. There we go. And now that I have plenty of space left... Hello, lizard. Now i got plenty of space left. Let's start grabbing some more biomass because we're going to need this. There's the confusing creature. I think they call it a giraffe penguin tick thing or something like that. Oh, there's a power slug sitting right here. That hurt. Until we get the coal plants online, or get ready for coal, we're going to have to um, keep these biomass generators up and running. And I'll probably keep the line here as, if we're in case of emergency, but, um, so... There's three there. Just a 
little bit of wood here. Okay. But hopefully that will keep the line running a while longer. Uh, see that guy at the very end down there is now starved for biomass. So I'm going to have to work on... I've got to get more power. I mean, there's just no way around it. I'm already running beyond my limit. So that will have to be priority. But let's get over here. I'm going to move this... And I actually am going to go rebuild the hub on the space elevator platform itself because that will be the best place to put it. But let's go over here. We can now research this thing. Mercer Sphere Analysis Completed. Established Local Planetary Signature of Massage 2, A, B, B, in the local Mercer Sphere signals, allowing them to be tracked by the object scanner. Mercer spheres can also transmit data between specific Witness our scripture, witness our windows, have you come to defile our shrine? Sing us a song. Arguing the existence of intelligent alien life. While Fixit has figured out the method, all of the original data is still untranslatable. Hmm. Okay. Who is that? And honestly, you don't want me to sing you a song, trust me. Uh, do I have anything else I can research right now? Apparently not, because I haven't re found any more critters yet. So, right now I'm just going to store these. And there's kind of a reason why I'm doing that, but it comes down to... Um, I just know from various things that there's a thing we can do later on that will let us double our... Um, double the output of any factory. So I can automate making the um, these to go into alien protein, which will double that, and then I can double that again getting DNA cartridges, which will be useful when it becomes time to do that sort of thing. I also need to, um, or I also should um, now that I think about it, do power shards the same way. If I can hold off um, creating power shards that long and overclocking things, I may be able to do that. But let's um, start, start doing tier three. We need coal power, that's what we need. And fortunately for me, I already have all of this. Or I thought I had all of this, maybe I don't. Oh well, I have to go pick up some more cable. Actually, I know where I can get some cable and other stuff that I'm now low on. I had, um, when I had to reduce the size of my inventory so I could carry everything I needed to build the space elevator in one go, I dumped a bunch of stuff. I actually dumped it over here in where I've got an awesome sink set up. I had to do an awesome sink because I needed a couple of, um, components for what I was doing. I needed the conveyor lift floor holes for this, and those you can only get from the awesome shop. They don't appear anywhere else. And also the um, stairways I'm using to get up to that upper tier. Let's see here. Yeah, get those. Let me get a couple of these because I'm out of rods. That looks good. Get the rest of those back. Okay. That looks like a good selection. I may, I'm gonna need some regular plates soon. But... Ah, let's go back to the hub. It does get dark under that platform. Once I get lights, I'm going to start putting some lighting on it to try to... So it's not pitch black down there. I do have Lumina, and it seems to be working pretty well, although some people look a lot darker than me, so I'm not sure... Or their worlds are a lot thicker, darker than mine, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. But 
All right. There we go. Milestone reached. Everywhere. Power production can now be fully automated by burning coal, which has been added to the resource scanner. Water is also necessary to run the coal-powered generator and will require a network of pipelines to be transported from a water source. To assist with locating and identifying water, Fixit has compiled this guide. Water is a somewhat reflective liquid and it may have thick vegetation growing nearby. To test if something is water, try touching it. If it is not solid and does not corrode your suit, it is probably water. I just love Fixit's opinion on this. All right, um, let's see what we got over here. What's next? Um, vehicle transport gives me trucks and tractors, which I'll be honest, in all the time I've played this game and I have over 500 hours in this game, I've never used a single truck. So I'm just gonna skip that. And we're gonna go straight up to steel because we need steel for a lot of things. Plus, again, all of this stuff down here is already automated. I can just run over to the um, factory and pick all of this stuff up. Now, I can't get, give it until the pod comes back, so I've got six or seven minutes. So let's just go ahead and grab that, because if I'm going to start coal production, I may as well start steel production at the same time. So I need 500 concrete. I've got, I only have 350 concrete. Yeah, because that's because I built that massive platform to put the space elevator in. And the space elevator is, the platform is just kind of floating in the air now, sort of like these. Um, aesthetically, the game doesn't care. The game will let you ignore gravity all you want. Um, aesthetically, I'd like for them to look at least supported but I also need steel for that because I like to use the um, I thought where's my concrete? I thought it was over here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, aesthetically, I like to use steel frames. That's just my personal design. So I'm going to start cleaning these things up later. Okay, I need 500, and I'll need a couple for myself. Uh, here we go. Um, now I can go upstairs. I love how I can't just run up these cliffs. And so I have to kind of run around in circles to get to where I want to go. You also need to do some exploring. I mean, we haven't found a single hard drive yet, and there are some alternate recipes I'd really like to start using. Uh, the number one I would like to get is cast screws, because it lets me make screws just as fast, but without having the intermediate stage of rods, so it'll be less power demand. Okay, so we got the... This is my cable factory, not my copper factory. Where's my copper factory? It's over here. Okay, so I need a thousand. I've already got a thousand, but I'll get one more just so I'll have some for myself. And I need 150 rotors and 50 modular frames. Those I don't usually need for anything I'm building. Actually, I will need some rotors. So. There we go. That'll give me enough rotors, because I think I need rotors to make um, um, things like the... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? To make, like, the water pumps and things like that I'm going to need. And, okay. I'm also going to need some of these, which is my lowest performing thing. Oh, yeah. Remember when I said earlier I tried to make this thing high enough up so that it would clear all the miners? I didn't quite make it high enough up to clear this one. So that's the reason this thing is up so high. I wanted to have the miners stay beneath it, but I didn't feel like coming back and raising everything another two meters when I got over here. So there's a miner with power point sticking through it. All right. 
So, let's see what we got here. We need coal, which is here. Man, there's nothing nearby. 800. 800. Yeah, that's... Well, let's see what's this way. That one's slightly closer. Now, all of that's going to be a problem because this way leads off a cliff. The reason I went north instead of south earlier is because if you go north, I run into this. Let's see. And, um... I'm going to have to get down that way somehow. There's a slight ramp here. I mean, I can obviously just build a ramp all the way down. That's entirely possible. But this is going to... Let's see, there's not a... good way down. And there's a fart rock down there. Okay. I might could work my way down this thing. But okay. Uh, the same problem is going to be with the one that was in the other direction because you know, if when I went north you saw there's a cliff up there as well. So I need to do a bit of design research here to see how I can get to a coal source. So I have to do a bit of exploring. But what I'm going to do right now is let me get back to the um, hub. Where's the hub? I'm running the all wrong way. Okay, let's get back to the hub. And get ready for our next milestone exchange. should be any minute now. It's 35 seconds. Um, just for the record, I was saying I had, I had done a little bit of MAM research, or I got the um, awesome sink over there taking some stuff I didn't need. Here it comes. What I have unlocked is um, the conveyor lift floor holes I unlocked. This is from the last tier. Um, the walls with the doors I've unlocked. And all of this stuff I unlocked, mainly because I used the stairs to get up to the upper platforms. But that's all I've really bought from the awesome shop yet. Okay, let's go ahead and get this next piece done. There's 150 of those, there's 50 of those, there's 500 of that, and there's a thousand of that. Okay. See, we're done. Milestone reached. Coal and iron can be combined in the foundry to start steel production. Project part number two, the versatile framework, can only be created via automation, not at a crafting bench. Delivering these to the space elevator is essential if we are going to complete phase two of project assembly and save the day. Fix it, and humanity is relying on you. I love how humanity is kind of their secondary priority here. Um, anyway, as I said, I'm going to... Um, have to do some exploring to get figure out how to get to my best coal site. And I'm going to do that for a little bit later. But right now we've got a nice, um, ah, we've got a nice factory set up. We're doing pretty well at the moment and we're on our way to completing phase two. So I'm going to give it a call here. I am Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer and we have been playing Satisfactory 1.0. I will talk to all of you next time.